got to fold through. Four, he said, or three. How come? Not nothing kids can do, or nothing grown people can do. We ain't even got no jobs for her. What kind of jobs do you want? I mean, if you could have a job here, what would you be doing? Factory job. Just labor for real. Man labor, regular man labor. You know what I'm saying? Just something for people to stay out, you know what I'm saying? Stay out the streets, stuff like that. Manual labor to keep you off the streets. How old are you? I'm 18. So you're done with school? No, I dropped out. How come? It just wasn't made for me. School wasn't made for you? Mm -mm. But you got to do something. Yeah, get my GED, you know what I'm saying? Do what I got to do to get through life. That's it. How come you stay here then? Why don't you go to a big city? Some people can't afford to. I ain't got the money. Where to go? You're you're 18 years old. What's it gonna be like when you're 25? I ain't gonna be around here. I'm gonna go somewhere. That's all I can do. All right, you guys. Today we're gonna be doing some math, some life, some art stuff. Here we go. I don't wanna hear any of your complaining, complaints, complaints. Oh man. Miss, you didn't tell me. I could never understand Khan Academy. I didn't take your advice or help when you wanted to. And now here I am complaining about you. Let's, you know, take all that stuff. Put it in the past. Let's just keep moving forward, okay? Um, we've, you know, dealt with that stuff. And Akuna Matata. Just gonna, gotta, you have to live with your mistakes. You have to learn from the past. Keep going forward. Never straight. There's there's more than just one way to get what you're looking for. We're gonna empower each other. All of you guys are like, oh miss, 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 you never you never taught me this. I'm like, well, thank you for using the appropriate pronouns um, that I prefer. Um, that definitely empowers me as a teacher and person and human being in my identity. And I really want to empower you as students, human beings, and your identity as um, young adults and professionals. And this is how you're viewed by your grades and what you do in school by a lot of different societies and stuff. So make it the best. Here's the lesson. You guys are awesome. Um, we're here for each other. Okay? Um, we are... All right, here we go. Graphs and how to read them. It's a big million dollar question. You gotta do this to pass the class. Um, there's a couple of things you need to know in this lesson. Basically, anytime you see a slide, just write down everything on the slide. If you don't already know it, um, the questions are gonna help you get the full definition and understanding of what I'm showing you. So please try and Use your best thoughts and try and get those correct as well. Okay? The vertex is going to be an extremely point on the graph. You see it on the absolute value graph. It's on the quadratic graph. It's the turning point where all these, like, this downward slope then just starts all of a sudden. It starts going up. Things are looking good, you know. We all have this little turning point, and for you... Now you might be wondering what yours is. When are you going to finally invest in, do the work? All right. That's what you need to know. Also, it will always, when you see it in a test, it's always going to be like an ordered pair. It's not going to just be a, a 3 or a negative 4 or infinity sign or y equals something. It's always going to be blank, comma, blank, um, with parentheses or brackets. I think just parentheses, um, no brackets. But I don't know. I'm not like the best when it comes to math. So anyway, we have a uh, vertex also. That guy is really important to understand the relative maximum or minimum. This is just 
the vertex again um, with now a fancy name associated with it so that you know whether it's the top or bottom of the graph. That's obviously pretty important. Like, is your turning point at a high or is it at a low? Or is it like your low going to be the highest value you ever get? Or are you going to turn this around and... You know, you can do it. I believe in you. There's there's a lot of stuff, but, you know, if this is your maximum, try and keep it constant. Um, try and output the most you can. Do the best. And, you know, we all have different abilities. Try and expand the other ones that you have more. It's okay. Do your best in this class. You're still awesome. Um, but if it's your minimum, then you can definitely do better. And I encourage that because um, I'm trying to do my best. Um, the domain. This is a very important thing. This tells you sort of all the possibilities that you can do. So any the domain in these always going to be also a pair. It's always going to be negative infinity to positive infinity in this class. Maybe there's some other form of mathematics where it's not, or you've defined infinity as a different sort of term. So that doesn't make sense, but in this class, the graph, whenever you see a parabola, its domain is negative infinity to positive infinity because you can put any value of x into the equation and it will give you a output or a solution. Um, this is great. The range, though, that is um, limited by the equation. Sometimes it's shifted up and down depending on where you know k is or the c is. Whatever the constant is that moves it or shifts the graph up and down is what you got to watch out for. It's either going to be your maximum point or your minimum point. So if it's the graph's pointing down towards all the next negative points, that turning point, that's going to be your highest point in that negative pool. But if the graph is facing the other way, you know, then what you have is a minimum, and that's going to be the lowest point in your positive pool. And for many of you, I hope that that 16, that 24, that 0, or whatever it is, is your lowest point, and you do nothing but get better from here on out. Okay, this last part is going to be if they're talking about an interval, they're talking about time or x or continuous values of x or however you want to like view x to be. But think about it as a set or, you know, things. A continuous like flow of things um, interval you guys were asking me a lot about this yesterday what is the increasing interval what is the decreasing interval how do I know and you kept saying six it's six it's four it's six um, it's not those it has to do with the x values not the y values um, whenever the graph is going up you again, you read it only the x values. Nobody cares about the y values because it says it's going up. That's good. That's what you want usually. Sometimes it's not. <coughs> but you want things to go up. So you say it's positive, which has a positive connotation to it. And everybody's happy. Let's all go up, okay? 
And that's going to be from negative infinity to x in this particular example. That's when we would go up. Um, in the next example, when from left to right the graph is going down, we're going to say that is in a decreasing interval. So all these x values from this point to this point are going to be going progressively downward. There's never going to be a point at the end that is going to be higher than the beginning. It's always going to be going down, 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 down. Lower and lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. And that's not good. But there's a bright side. Life is turned around, sometimes mirrored. And other people, we definitely have it like very good in this country and make the most of it. You know, sometimes you only see the bad in things, but there definitely is a good. Bye.